everyone, welcome back to my tutorials. I am SV and we are continuous work with Unreal Engine 4. So, this game we have in present moment. If you don't know how to do this game and uh, if you don't reach this result, please go back to my previous tutorials, check what is going on, try to repeat because today we are continuous, continuous make this game. So, menu, quiet game, yes. Uh, what is goal hour today? Today we will try to increase a uh, speed, to increase some difficult of the game. So how to do it? We are going to my pawn and as you remember we are create some uh, somewhere here, some score. Yeah, we are selected and we are put score calculation, something like that. So, it means every time when we over jump one drum, I have plus one point. So, this score, this you see here is variable of score, we can use to increase some kind, uh, to increase some speed. Okay, what we will do? We are create new custom event. Custom event, something like that. This will be... Uh, speed update we are calling kids like this so will be speed update uh, we are called the speed update every time when we are over jump our uh, our drum so somewhere here i call speed update okay it's mean every time when i over jump one drum I call this event speed update and from this area I start work with speed update. Okay, I have to create, um, I think I will create one more variable. I will create one more variable. Uh, I call it like a target, target variable, something like that. Uh, this target variable will be um, integer. <coughs> I don't need float, I use integer. So compile and here I put, for example, five, I don't know, for example, five for a moment. Okay, after that speed update, I put some branch. You can put on keyboard or branch or if, it doesn't matter. Take it. Yeah, very good. And from branch, as you remember, I have two possibilities, true or false. If my condition working is going for true. If my condition not working, going to false. Uh, false. So I take my score, get score, and I take my target, get target. Then I check it for equal, 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 and going here. What is this? We are create a very, very simple formula. It's mean uh, every time when I over jump one drum, I will change my score plus one, plus one, plus one. As you remember, by this formula, when I just begin overplay, over my score equal to zero. Okay, very good. So I start over jump, and every time it's coming to one, then two, then three, then something like that. When my score will be equal to my target, this branch will work to true. In other way, it's all time working to false. For this reason, I can change a target for any, for a moment, it, it, it's five, okay? So, what we will do now? Uh, every time when it's changed for target, I set new target. So, for a moment, I have to over jump five drums to receive this result. When I receive five drums, I have to change my target. I am going here, get target, and target plus integer plus integer, I can put five, something like, where is this? Five, something like that. Okay. It's mean when I over jump five drums, it working here and my target automatically coming to 10, five plus five will be 10. Then I have to wait score again for uh, 10. When will be score 10, my target will be equal to score. Going again and new target will be 15. 
then I have to wait score 15 and like this up to end. Hope you understood what is going on. So what we will do now? Now Unreal Engine have a very interesting options. This options name of this options set global time dilution. Uh, time set global time dilution. We have to wait somewhere or find somewhere. Set, I not remember exactly where is this. Yeah, set global time dilution like this. What is this and how it's work? So uh, time dilution zero. We can wait and we can check what we have. Start play. So I have to over jump uh, five drums to see what will be. For a moment, zero. We have to wait a little bit. One, two, three, two more drums, four, five. Okay. And now my global time dilution, this is not a pause. My global time dilution is zero. It's mean time not coming. For example, I put a 0 0.2 and by this 0 0.2, so one, it's normal. Everything what is more than one, it will be faster. Everything what is less than one, it will be like a slow motion. So I change, for example, target for two, just to receive this information more faster and play again. So it's mean after that, when I over jump two drums, I will get like a slow motion effect. So you can use it in any your project, just shooter, 3D shooter or something else in any your project. You can use this global time dilution and look at this two. And I have slow motion and it looks like very nice. You see, I am jumping and it's slow motion because my time dilution now two. OK, it's mean by this time dilution, I can increase a difficult of my game. I'm going here. And every time when I call, I like to increase step by step this time dilution. And how I do it? How I do it? Uh, I can use LERP. What is this LERP? Open and put like this LERP. Float LERP, LERP something like that. OK, put it here. How it's working? I have A, I have B and I have some alpha. For example, if I put A, one, B, two, and by alpha, I can change. So zero, it's mean A, one, it's mean two. If I play with this alpha 0 0.5, for example, my LERP output will be 1.5. It will be half between this and this. So hope you understood what is going on. Now I have to animate this alpha. How we will do it? Like before, we can use a timeline. So we are going down. We are take timeline. This will be like a speed increase, something like that. Enter. We are take. We are going inside. Where is this? Double click. Speed increase and 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 we can take um, float. Open. And I like to make animation during 10 seconds, not five, 10 seconds. So I like to increase my speed 10 seconds to, to receive a very slow result. Okay, I add two K points, one K point and second K point. One K point will be on zero position with zero value. <clears throat> Other K point will be on time 10 with value number one. After that, I push this to bottom to receive my two points, select both this point, right click and make it after. So I receive like this smooth result. Compile, go back to graph event. And now I have this track zero. Uh, if you like, you can change going here and change name, for example, alpha, alpha, uh, just, just like this doesn't matter. So compile, go back to event graph and I have this alpha. So I put here and as you understood, now I animate my alpha during 10 seconds from zero to one. Okay, so how it's working, how it's working. 
Now my alpha one, and it's mean my uh, global time dilution one. But during 10 seconds, I will get two. How it's working, we are make like this print string and we will check how it's working. I take this information just to show you what is going on. Okay, play and start to play. Oh no, stop. Maybe I use not, not from this area. I take uh, event tick. I use event tick to receive this information every delta second. Play and look at this. Now my global dilution one. It means my speed will be normal without any delay, without any speed increasing, something like that. But when I over jump two drums, look at this, one drum and second drum. During 10 seconds, my alpha start increase my global dilution to two. And as you can see, now I have increasing speed and my uh, global dilution is already two. So I increase time in twice. And of course, I increase the difficulty of game. My uh, spawning coming more faster. I lose my uh, stamina more faster and everything coming more faster. Okay, so hope you understood what is going on. But I like to receive this, uh, how it's calling, this update of speed every like a target, every level. So for, for example, for five, then for 10, then for 15, 20, and something like this. For this reason, I need to animate this alpha and bravo, A and B. For this reason, I have to create two new variable, or I can make like this, drag and promote to variable. It's also possible to make like this. Just a moment. I take it, put somewhere here, and take this variable and take this variable, promote to variable. So now I have to give some name to these variables. Variable zero, it will be alpha. Variable one, I rename for bravo, or A, B, it doesn't matter. Okay, very good. So um, what we will do now, after first, after first my score, I'm going to score target, alpha, bravo, just a moment, I have to compile, and I put, so, alpha for a moment will be 0 0.8, for a moment, bravo will be 1, for a moment, something like that. Now I put it somewhere here, and I like to take something, here I will set up alpha, and here I will set up a Bravo. Every time I change a value of these two variables. Now I show you how to do it, just a moment. Let's put a little bit down, just to make everything in straight line. Uh, this is a very good practice. I saw some many tutorials of some really professional guys and almost everybody make a very easy way to, uh, to found um, every your objects, yes? Then they give some live collision, everything. Because sometimes you can start some project, but somebody can help you and assist you. And if you have some house inside your project, uh, nobody can find some, some good information. So take it, get, and make it plus. All time I will increase for 0 0.2, just something like this. Take B and make it plus also 0 0.2, something like that. Very good. So what I have, every time when I reach my target, I will change my alpha. So if I change first time my alpha from 0 0.8 plus two, it will be one. And here will be 1.2. So after that coming my speed increase, and by this I will increase from one up to 1.2. Hope you understood what is going on. So now I will show you how it's going. Yeah, and here target, yeah, when I reach my target, which is for a moment two, next my target will be again two. So it means 
I will get increase of speed 2, 4, 6, 8 and continuously. So you see for a moment 0 0.8 but it's not working. It's not working because uh, it's still I'm not over jump something. So 0 0.8. Okay, you see, now it's coming, and now I have 1.2, it's already over jump, over jump will be 1.6, over jump, 1.8, 2, now it's coming very fast, because uh, my 10 seconds now increasing 2, 2.8, 3, 3.2, 2 okay and i lose so like this we can increase our speed as you can see it's very very simple way this we already no need we are create my good formula for that one and what we will do now i am going for target and i change this target for 20 for 20 drums when i reach 20 drums i will increase my new tar target plus 20 drums so it's mean all time i get change of speed for 20 40 60 80 to give possibility to play okay uh, now i'm select everything put c and make a update game speed something like that so compile and play what i get now what we what we receive it now so we are start play i don't know some bug was in the beginning but doesn't matter maybe my computer stuck okay we are jump looks like very nice we can play to menu i have quite the game quite no i am again going back to menu over jump push again and quite the game yes very good save close save your current project and uh, so for a moment our tutorial finish today we are, i showed you how to increase the speed and difficulty of your game uh, by time global time dilution thank you very much for watching and guys see you next time goodbye